Hello YouTube, hello Facebook, welcome, hello. Hi, Lisa's in Pretoria again, can you see? Matthew's behind the computer, brushing his hair with his hands. I had my hood on until the last second, I only took it off, <laughs> I forgot that I was wearing it. And I saw myself and I got a fright. So guys, how have you been? What have you been up to? What did you make this week? We are just to, for all the newbies, tell us if you're new so we can say hi, give you a shout out. Um, we, um, let me just get your voice up, Lisa. Okay. All right. Okay. So we are, um, uh, I'm Amanda. This is Lisa. And that's Matthew behind the computer. We are from the company called Fabricate and we are a creative supply store. We are online shop and you can find us at www fabric the word with the number eight co dot za and go check out what we have and we are open to suggestions if you hear of something or know something that we don't stock we we are forever looking for new things we can't always find everything you want but we try and get what what we can um we uh also this is live tuesdays we do it every tuesday night at seven and what we do normally is we do a little short tutorial of some pattern. The pattern is also available. And then after that, we have a Q&A, questions and answers. So um, you are welcome to ask me anything then. Um, while we do the doing the tutorial, um, if we could stick to tutorial questions, um, but you can also um, give us a, afterwards, you can give us questions on anything. Um, we have quite a few WhatsApp groups. If you like to join them, um, how do you find all of this? If you want to go the easy route, because Lisa's going to give you the link, but I go the easy route, you go www.fabric8 with a number .co.za, and on the horizontal uh, menu, you'll see free sewing lessons. All our WhatsApp groups, all our tutorials, all our patterns, everything is there to for you to download. So um, that's that. Lisa's going to maybe give some, I don't know, links. Um, yeah, so if you want to join our WhatsApp group, the link is always www.fabric8.co.za slash insta-link. I've also posted it in chat now. And all our patterns that we do every week is always free and you can access them at www.fabric8.co.za slash live-tuesdays. I will post that as well. And like Amanda said, if you have any questions as we go along, feel free to ask me and Matthew will ask her out loud. And if you have unrelated questions, save us for the end. We always have a fun little Q&A um, at the end. And we also do demonstrations and whatever if you want. Yeah, if, you have a, if there's a product you know we have and you would like me to show, show you that, that is for Q&A. You can uh, just wait for that. We, our tutorial tonight won't be that long. So, um, uh, I suppose we'll get there probably by half past or quarter to nine already. Lisa, what was that thing quarter that I nine. sent you? Ach, quarter to eight. Sorry. Oh, I was about to say, quick hour and 45 minute <laughs> tutorial incoming. <laughs> Let me also just give some shout outs. Hi, Saskia and Veronica on YouTube. Thank you for joining us. Saskia is um, becoming a regular. On YouTube, I can see there's a bunch of people lurking. Please say hello and leave us a like. It boosts our account so much yeah. and helps people like you find us. And then if you hello, Anthea on Facebook. Anthea says she's a very new here. So hello, hello Anthea. Um, if you can't, um, if you can't access the chat on YouTube, remember you have to be sub subscribed. So just click the subscribe um, button, and then you will be able to chat with us. And guys, really, it, it makes it so much more fun if I get questions and people saying things, even if you tell me that I'm having a bad hair day, which I know I am. Anything. We, we like chatting. So whatever you want to say, say it. If you're having a bad day, you tell us that. And we can and all... Poop emojis. Yeah, poop emojis. Any emoji is good. Um, yeah, and we can all um, think of your bad day and maybe it'll, it'll get better. Okay, so Lisa, what's that thing that I sent you? Read it out. I want you guys to, um, because I don't have a phone. Oh, let me find it. Um, okay, fill in the blank. If dot 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 
thought was an Olympic event, I would totally have a gold medal. Okay, so if medal. you guys have to answer this, if dot 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 was an Olympic event, I would totally have a gold medal. If smoking, I'm in chat now. Let us know when I think in the blank. mine is smoking. If smoking was an Olympic event, I uh, don't forget eating. Eating and smoking is my Olympic event, and I would have. If there was something higher than the gold medal, I would have it. Mine would be eating so, leftovers yeah. specifically. Yeah, Matthew is eating leftovers. He says, yes. "Yeah, he's he's our he's our human vacuum cleaner. We uh, all the leftovers we leave for Matthew." You know, people leave their food on the side of the sink. I go and I eat that, you yeah. know. You'll the... eat you'll eat your leftovers out of your plate when you put it on the zinc. That's Matthew. Um, Saskia says, if buying sewing things was an Olympic event, I would totally have a gold medal. Yes, yes, yes. I'm all for that Olympic event. I vote for we need to get that in the Olympics. <laughs> and and buying Sewing goods from Fabric 8. Specifically. Specifically. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go in chat. What Olympic event would you win? What are you really, really good at? Or really, really bad at? But you're so bad at it that you're good at it. <laughs> I think I think mine would be tripping over my own feet. Yeah, no, Lisa's really good. We went um, to... We went overseas once. And she literally tripped into the plane. She fell into the plane. But this is not the first time uh, she fell about three times in the airport, but she tripped into the plane. Mm, I was also wearing a um, plucky. Yeah, I know. So Lisa's, Lisa's um, big motor skills are not awesome. <laughs> um, Saskia also says if buying fabric for making something sometime was an Olympic event, I would totally have a gold medal. Oh. And Veronica says if defensive driving was an Olympic event, I would totally have a gold medal. <laughs> what about what about um road rage who's got road yeah. rage i drive so little these days that i'm yeah. i'm missing road rage <laughs> you have road rage and milan yeah no i do have road rage my mother always you uses to you guys are all such aggressive people yeah laura is actually the worst of all of everyone she's like you must hoot at them hoot at them Yo. yeah, no. i don't have road rage i'm i i, I man i'm i'm no, I can't. My, my, my mom used to drive with me and she used to say, someone's going to take out a gun and just shoot you one day. <laughs> um, since Matthew um, crashed into a truck, Yo. he has lost his road rage. Oh, is it? You're is right. That, is that why he no, crashed he's into a, a truck? Very, very calm driver now. <laughs> he doesn't even drive 120 on the highways. <laughs> no, I drive 120 on the highways. Just, no, not, in, just not in your car because your car... Oof. Yeah, no. That's that's taking your life into your own hands. Okay, guys, are you guys ready? Are you ready? Are we gonna just go into the tutorial? Because you guys are so quiet. Maybe you're not here. Maybe we should just leave. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We don't have that bad um, numbers, but the people are quiet. Today. Quiet. I think maybe okay. they don't understand. Okay, I'm I am not gonna start until I get a hey yo from every single person listening. Hi, yo, um, let's go. Hi, hi Renette. Hello, you've been here before. I remember you. Yes. I think you were here last week also. And remember, as we go along, please do leave us some comments and leave some hearts and likes and, and subscribe and, and, and follow and all those things. Even if it's stupid comments, it means so much to us. It helps a lot. It helps us. It helps my business without you having to spend a cent. You spend them. Hey, yo, let's go. That's in like a movie. She is a star. Rodko says, "Hey, yo." And these now we have these. These are these are all my star pupils. <laughs> and Anthea says, "Hey, yo, let's go." <laughs> okay, Thanks. so so the tutorial today is what I call a scissors caddy, but it doesn't mean it doesn't need to be a scissors caddy. It can be, you know, um, if you're drawing patterns and you need pens and uh, little rulers, you can even make it for your kids to take to school to put the pens in. Or um, I was just thinking, mm. it's kind of a ridiculous, like, Christmas table knife and fork set as well. Oh, you're right. Yes. 
If you make it in my Christmas yes, fabric. Yes, perfect. And you wow. put the serviette yeah. at the top and in the yes. nice Or it can actually, it's got three little um, slots, so you can put all three knife, spoon, fork in there. Oh yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. And it can match your napkins and all of that. And um, Lynn can make it in some posh fabric. Yes. Is Lynn here? Yes, Lynn is here. Hello, Lynn. Haven't heard from you for a while. Okay, guys, so when you download my pattern, it's going to print. Obviously, there's going to be a booklet in front of it, but it's going to print out like this. Remember to set your computer, uh, your, your printer to 100% because it's a, it's a PDF, so it... it the PDF system down, scales it down to 97 or something like that. Just go to scale and make it 100%. And then it prints out to this and you stick them together and you end up with the pattern looking like this. All right. And I didn't, I didn't say this on the pattern, but just so you know, this is actually going to be the front part. So if you can see that, that is the front part. So if you if, if you have fabric that goes up and down, like the, for instance, Maria, you would angle Maria upright on this bit. Obviously, this is going to go skew, but this is the front bit. So that, that section there is the front bit, okay? So um, as the instructions say, you are, Lisa, are you going to be here for this or are you leaving? Yes. Okay, I'm going to have to see if you can still see Lisa if I do that. Matthew? Yes, I can see, but now you've blocked the stitch cam with the Lisa cam. Okay, and what about there? Now we have a stitch cam and the Lisa cam. Okay, cool. All right. So, um, you're going to take this pattern and you're obviously going to cut out... Now, is Matthew being done? Why? I'm off covering the stitch cam still. This no, it's going to come right just now. Give it a sec. Okay. All right, so you're going to cut two pieces. You're going to cut a lining piece and you're going to cut your outside fabric. It doesn't really matter if you have fabric like this. Um, it doesn't matter which side up. But as you can see, here's a little bit of a lantern. So I tried to put that upright. Um, so this is my outside fabric and this is my lining. And then you're also going to cut one piece of... Um, compressed batting and you'll see me do this every week I always cut down my batting by a centimeter so that it doesn't make a thick seam all right so I always just cut it on the big one and then I cut it down by one centimeter if you're pedantic you could actually print out your pattern twice and the one you'll cut out on the solid line and the one you'll cut out on the dotted line and that is the size of the batting then. all right so then you're going to obviously iron it because it is fusible compressed batting so that it actually sticks to your fabric. And what you're going to do then is quite an easy pattern. Oh gosh, let me just get, get the right side to the right side. Okay, is you're going to put the right side to the right side. And we are going to pin it right on top of each other. that and get them nice and straight and, and this one and over here just get this one nice and straight okay and get these two together And then we are going to leave, remember that we are going to be turning it out. So we're going to leave a turn out hole on this side. Why? Because this side, when you fold it in, you won't see whatever happens there. So that's the best one to do. So we're going to leave, we're going to sew right around from here all the way around, round, 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 round to there. And leaving this hole okay and we say um, we're sewing at one centimeter and we are just gonna start doing that then 
and is my yeah okay here we go start sewing at one centimeter and this is an awesome gift for anyone because um, as I said it doesn't have to be for um, scissors um, it's also like good for crafting or anything like that um, even just your pen if you're working and you're always forever losing your pen this is the perfect thing for that um, so we're just going around at one centimeter I'll fix that, at least on in YouTube. You can't hear it now, but people are cheering. <laughs> Sound effects. Okay, so I'm going to just go to the mark here for my turnout hole. Whoops. Come on. Do a reverse here. I'm pressing every button but the right one. Okay, so I've gone around there they stopped holding keeping all that that whole thing so now what I'm gonna do is I am just going to trim this all down oh, to about five mil right round because we're not gonna see this and we're not gonna need more than five mil and if you ask me why don't I just make the pattern five mil because it's a pain an absolute pain to have to sew at five mil um, because most machines have a one centimeter mark while well, they don't have a five mil mark so we're just gonna cut it down a little Lynn bit says, Lynn says she just loves your machine yeah ne? it's awesome I love it too <laughs> so we're just gonna cut it down all the way um, and then just as a, a little tip when you get to this hole, don't cut down at the hole. What I normally do is I, I give it a like a, a V to way and then just up to there. Because because when you're closing a hole, it's actually better if you have a bigger piece of fabric. So if you want to see, see, I've just given it the bit that's going to fold in to give me more. Okay, so the other thing we need to do is we need to cut away these these. Um, corners remember not to cut your own thread all the corners cut, I cut them at a 90 degree and then I also cut them a little bit pointy so that there's less fabric for that corner um, that's it okay and then the last thing we need to do um, is we are gonna just nip it at all the I call them in in curves because those are the ones that have to spread out so we're just gonna nip close close to our um, sewing but not right through it obviously so we're just doing all the in curves because they become outies <laughs> and the out curves go in so we don't have to worry about them so we're doing all the in curves sure if I put my mind to it I can figure out if it's convex or concave but we don't need to know that now oh, this thing it's running away I keep okay so the next bit let's just get my threads I hate threads is we're just gonna turn it over right side out Oh, 
lost. This is so much easier as lost than lost. Right. This fabric is nice and soft, that's why. Askia says, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Because Matthew gets bored, ne? I don't Quickly. get bored. I I am I am animated. Oh. I'm like the person who I'm 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 like the people who do ASL, but I'm just doing stupid stuff and there's absolutely no context on what you're doing. But other than that, you know, <laughs> this is wonderful, Matthew. Yes. Okay, so I'm just using my point turner to get all of these corners nice and sharp and out. Just be always be careful when you're doing this. You don't want to press too hard because you can actually physically break the corner and then have to redo it so i just go and find all the corners that's around there's another corner here there we go that's that oh there's another one i missed there we go this is a super easy pattern Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to iron one of these in. My steam iron. And we're going to turn it over and then we're going to match this one up to it. So that it's nice and neat. <coughs> and then we're just going to make sure that we get this as flat as we can. Nice and flat. And perfect. I lost this corner. It's nice. Let's see that the spit spit always helps. <laughs> there we go. Getting them nice and flat. All right. There we go. That is done. And the next bit um, is I actually before before I started I actually marked my pattern markings. So I don't know if you can still see them but they are over here and over there. I can see them now. <laughs> okay, so it's just these marks that I brought on, over and I'm gonna just sew down on that. Okay, just get them done first. Sew down, because this is quilted. Okay, so we're gonna do all three of those. These are my fold marks. That coke is so cool. Do you sell it by any chance? What? Which one? The, the one you pencil, used to make the, the white yes. pencil. Yes, the white pencil is the prim um, white pencil. I don't know what it's called. Well, I specifically love all prim products. <laughs> Matthew is, is doing um, a live TV commercial. <laughs> no, no, no! A live TV commercial would have been like a very, like a very, like a very marked ad. First, you need to try a normal pencil, and you need to draw on the very, and it needs to like the pencil needs to explode and break, and then you need to pull out your prim one, and then it works perfectly. Uh, yeah, we can do that next week. Okay, so once you've done that, and this is, I need that steam iron. Yeah, I know everyone needs it. I, it's, I, it's promise you, we are down to I think seven. We're waiting for new stock. Anyway, That's also a prim product. I'm you yes, know, just saying. Another you know, prim product. Okay, guys, so once you've done those three, it's now up to you to quilt this however you want. I've obviously finished one and I went with the fan sort of because we already have those fan like. So I just kept going one in the middle, one in the middle, one in the middle, doing straight fan lines. I don't know if you can see. Let me try and show you. A little bit down. A little bit down. Oh, perfect. And there, and you can see the other side maybe better. Okay, so once we've done that, then if you look at the pattern, if I can color this in for you so you know which part I'm talking about, that part is the back of this little bag. So if you want to make it, it doesn't have to go around your head. As Lisa said, it can just be a caddy that lies. Um, around or that you use when you travel and you don't want your scissors to be just somewhere in the bag um, but it can also be um, with a little thing around the neck so you need to find the middle of that that bit 
and then you can apply just I've just put a little I've got some ribbon that matches sort of semi <laughs> and I just burnt the edges and I just did it on the right side okay on the right right hand right side of the fabric the outer fabric all right so now the magic happens look here so you're gonna fold that in okay I, I there's the instruction actually has pictures of how to fold you're gonna fold that one over and you're gonna fold this one there and once you've done that you're gonna show me use some clips um, to get them let's just give it an iron so that we get it as flat as possible see what I mean about that bit this open bit is here now but we're gonna be sewing there so it you don't have to close it before and then this one and obviously we need a, our clapper for this and the clapper just helps you get the seam to stay flat you see how it doesn't turn up after I've used the clapper okay there we go and then last fold is this one And the clapper you don't need to press very hard you just need to keep pressure on it while the steam dissipates or evaporates okay so then that's that and we are going to just clip them so that they stay where they are clip them and what we are going to do now is we're going to just sew down here through all of these layers then we're going to go horizontal and we're going to come up to there and that should be the end of that okay here we go so we get this is not lifting there we go so when you use uh, when you when you just uh, can you hear the fabric is quite thick yeah so when you decide, this could also be the wrong needle. I actually, it might be a universal that's too thick. So I'm just gonna give my machine time so that it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to run through any of this. It can go slow so that it, I know it's doing it right. Okay, and I'm gonna go up this way. Oh, you can hear it. And that's normally a needle that sounds like that. Just a friendly reminder to please leave us a like. I can see some of you guys hanging around and watching and participating in our like. Please leave us a like. It takes one second of your time and it really helps boost us in the algorithm. Okay, so the only thing you have to watch is that this inside flap has actually caught which it did okay so I want isn't this the prettiest thing you've ever seen look look at this look just look at this we can even I'm sure we could no this one well if you're not a scissors person you could be a that's a little bit thick so uh, what's nice is you can have let's I want this thing runs away from me so you can have like your scissors, your big scissors, you can have if you uh, use that, you can have a pencil in here, you can have a small scissors in here, okay, isn't that cute? And as Lisa said, quite a good idea to have them as um, knife and fork things for Christmas, okay? So I've gone and made a little well, neck. That's what I'm gonna do now. So oh, yeah. I've gone and made a little thing. So I took a El Cheapo uh, tape measure and I've cut it to a hundred centimeters because you don't really want it much longer than that. 
and on the one side I just added a little lobster claw and on the other side I have a loop so what you're gonna do is you're gonna first lobster claw through here and then you're gonna put this little loop in here also so that if you want to actually use the measuring tape it is available by just unclipping and using it as a measuring tape Huh? Oh, freaking oh god is that? I said Biki Lank at the ones. I think 80 would have been better. Let's try 80. Yeah, 80 centimeters is perfect. And that is that, people. How easy is that? And imagine you can give this to anyone who uses scissors, pens, anything. I think this is the prettiest thing I've ever made. It just works Whoa. so it works so well with this fabric that matches and then flick flacks with a different color. Let me get that up close and show you. Yeah. You're gonna give this a try. This was nice and easy. Let me show you guys close up. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest thing? Look, 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 look. Okay, let's see if I can focus you here. Look at that. And that's a little pocket, yeah, nice. that's a little pocket, and that's a little pocket. And that's that, guys. Who likes this? I'm gonna I'm gonna shorten this because I'm actually gonna I'm gonna actually use it. You know when I um when you work I don't know if anyone here has a cricket or and and I forever got all those little tools for the cricket and I'm forever putting them down and never getting them back. They under something, so I'm gonna shorten it now so I can actually use it. I don't know. My instinct was you don't play cricket. No, I don't play cricket. My you instinct was your mom doesn't bugs. like bugs. <laughs> I don't like bugs either. Like Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> ah. I hate bugs. Come I hate on, bugs. I hate little sewing I tools. Hate sports, but so I do cricket. have a silhouette, so I do um, use that. I'm gonna just quickly fix the shorter. Make this shorter. I was thinking. Ronco says she loves this. Let us know what you guys think. Are you going to give this a shot? Okay. I think this is going to make such a quick and easy little gift for someone. Like, I mean, how long did this take? That was super fun. Yeah, I told you. It's like we a 15. It literally is a 15 minute project. And you know what? It is also nice is you, if you want to make, if you want to teach um, someone brand new to sewing, this is an awesome project because they're going to actually leave with something. You know, the ex says, I like around your neck, and Anesha says, Love it, going to make this for the girls that work for their pens and stuff. Yes. Yeah. This is like, I mean, it's a cute corporate gift as well. If you like make it in like a, like a pleather. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And you give it to everyone in your office. And remember, you can do all sorts of things, man. You can, you can add as many of these loops as you want. So you can, for instance, have a loop here or loop here that has if they have that you know that ticket that work ticket thing or that like entrance yes. card thing oh. or i even i've even seen someone that had a little loop here with a small little pin cushion now that doesn't feel safe to me so that's why i didn't do it but um yeah and um, the nice thing is if you're traveling and you just want to take a small sewing kit you can do this because you can put a like your pins and your um thread and needle on you and then if you need to measure something you just open this up and you have at least 80 centimeters you know what i thought is also nice if you just put a a, a claw on on directly on the triangle and then you can clip it to a bag or something yeah yeah so if you've got, like, that's your also bag, yes and you've got, so like, yeah, so if you don't want to make it a lanyard, you're going to put this on there and then it can clip to anything or a belt yeah. or something. Yeah. Anna Marie says, I love it. This is exactly what I thought to make for my mother. She always uses her cricket tools and Nazca Rodia and Mia says, I love it. Thank you so much. I think this is going to be Oh, wait. I think this is very cool. Annette says, oh, and Annette says, look for your company badge. Yeah, yes. Or if you print this for company, the logo. Yes. 
yes. But see, I'm thinking like this would be so nice in like a fake leather. Yeah, but also, like, Nick, if you if you only logo. if you only want two tiers, you just leave this last bit off, the pattern. So say for instance you don't want the, this tier, then you'll leave that. Don't cut that, and it'll be because I'm thinking you know if it's like pleather, it's going to be quite thick. So maybe you should not have the third tier then. Um, but if you take that bit off, look. It looks like an ice cream, but then you have that one and that one, and you actually have something more here for a logo. And also, you can make it shorter, ne? Eh? So if this is too long for pens, then you just cut that away, and then it's shorter, or whatever. There you go. I'm gonna use this. Nice. I like. I like it. It's very cute. Mm -hmm. I put a poll on YouTube and all seven people said they are going to give it a try. Yo, this is such a... Because I think I think most people can use it for something, you know? I also think it's so nice and easy. It's literally going to take you 15 minutes. You can like dedicate a Saturday and make your entire family a little gift and everyone will be able to use it for something else. Yeah. Like, if you should have like knives and forks drawing, because I think her pencils in there, and if your bunny likes sewing, she can put her sewing stuff in there. And if yeah. your cricket likes sewing, you, you can put your little cricket sewing. If you were a knitter or a, a, especially a crochet, also small uh, scissors, yeah. one or two, I think you can use it for anything actually. Okay, are we gonna move on to our question? <laughs> yeah. Just, just ask away anything. Yes. And while we wait for questions, do you want to show a product or two? Uh, anything you see? Anything I see? Yeah, you can do the pressing tools again. They're also cool. I see that we were running low stock on some of them on. Yeah, yeah. I, I, we've got, we've got, we've got new fabric. So I'm just waiting to upload the new fabrics. Um, so these are our, our hams. They're called Taylor hams. And what you use them for is if you're working on, you know, like dots or any curvy thing. I actually use them. I, I, I just iron on them because I just like that. And um, so they are made to iron on. But they are especially made for you know when you're doing tailoring or anything because this you can you can shape the hem to fit. Um, I know if you're doing like tailored two-piece sleeves, they are curved. They are sewn in a curve, so you can't just you can't flat iron them. And there's quite a few things. So this is called yeah, as I said, called our tailor hem. We also have a um, sleeve, a sleeve roll. It's made from the same products and obviously it's for when you're doing long long hems or seams and you just want to iron these and are you all can buy an entire matching set yes like, we have different I fabrics don't know if, that convince, if that doesn't convince you I don't know what will we have quite a few different fabrics um I just don't have them all here now but we for instance this one I know is running low um we still have a few of these, the like light blue roses. Um, so we have quite a few, and we've got quite a few new fabrics that um, I have actually. Can you see how I can't concentrate if I see a thread? <laughs> um, and then, of course, this little thing here is our table ironing board, small table ironing board, and it is obviously made to. So that you don't have to, um, I spoke to someone this, this week actually, who bought this 
and this, and she loves it. She might be on here, I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you think you don't need it? Trust me. Oh, it's actually, um, um, oh, now I have to remember. I can't remember her name, and I don't have my phone to look. Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. I'll, it's an old customer of mine. I know her name. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's, I just like to beat my hands. Stress, stress relief. <laughs> yeah. And then we have the Taylor, the clapper. And this, um, I should actually get some bad fabric to show you how it works. Um, you need like, it's, it's been cleaned up here, so, okay, let's even take a piece like this. All right, so if I iron this, now this is going to be a good fabric, but anyway, let's see. If I iron this, let's do a double so that makes it more difficult. You can see that it, it always keeps that spring, the fabric. Can you see it? Doesn't matter. And if you have to iron too much, you are gonna actually shine it up. But if I, and I'm not pressing there, I'm just sliding with the iron using the steam, and then I clap, and I hold it just for like five seconds. Can you see what that does? Just like you can see there, how flat that goes, and if, if I do it on the, I'm gonna do another piece so you can see how oh, the difference. It also, um, it, it holds the iron better. So so if you, for instance, doing bias binding, I don't know if you guys noticed, but if you iron it, like by the time you're actually using the bias binding, it has opened up again. Okay, so let's just clap this one again. So we get a good, a good show. And I don't know if you can see it. Let me show you. You see how flat this goes. It doesn't have that. That always has like a spongy. See, it's always like a spongy. Well, this one has no. It it is as flat as a pancake. Well, this one will always. I just I just love it. And it's a it's a tailoring tool. So it's it's you can literally go Google what you can do with it. It is amazing. I love it. And for this that I've done here. Yeah, um, this one, did we? Did we? No, we didn't. Okay. Let's do it with a clapper. It just gives you those... It makes like, it more crisp. It flat, perfect flat. Can you see how this one's still curling up, even though we ironed it? Compared to, it's not difficult because it's not the same fabric. But that just, it just makes it lie flat. And you can also use it, you know... On like say for instance you don't it doesn't have to be like ironed like that it can be for like if you have an open seam which I can't I'm gonna try and fake an open seam now like that would be your open seam and you would be opening them up but if you clap it and you see what happens it's just as neat as you can get anything so that's yeah. What's the question? How does a gathering foot work? Not really good. <laughs> um, a gathering foot. I I I never use them. I do the two rows of gathers. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I'm sure if you Google two rows of gathers, you'll get to see how to do it, because it gives me a neater finish. So I, I've actually never ever used a gathering foot. I do remember buying myself a ruffler foot one day and um, I just didn't like the way it ruffles or, or gathers. It doesn't gather consistently the same. So I still have to go afterwards and try and gather it so that it's nice and neat. So um, my preference has always, <clears throat> always been to use a two row gather uh, 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 way of gathering so unfortunately i'm sorry i'm sure you can google it and see if someone's been able to manage it um but yeah for me it just i don't know it's never never ever given me the 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 consistent gathers i need um carla says hello from andres's 
קרלה. הלו קרלה! פולחן דט! Yo, I think, I think people, it's, 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 it's the end of winter. It's like, what is this called? This um, change of season. Mm. Everyone feels like... Sluggish. Sluggish and, and hot fall. And you either can't wait for summer or you like me and you dread that summer is coming. <laughs> so. um, we have a follow-up question. Hmm? How to gather them? Try it. No, it's it's gathering is it's very easy. Let me get a piece of fabric. Um, let me show you. I'm just trying to get a good piece of fabric with, that you guys can see on, because I find that you might be able to see on this one. Um, on this um, other fabrics, you can't really see. Okay, so. How to gather? Let there's a few simple, um, simple rules. Okay, so when you're gathering, you always want to know what's the right side of your fabric and what's the wrong side of your fabric. Now, when you have a plane like this, you are not going to know un unless you mark it. So right side wrong side okay why do we need to know that because when we do gathers <coughs> we use our sewing machine and um we need to know where um sorry i also need to do this i'll tell you about this now we need to know which is the top thread and which is the bottom thread it is very important that we know which one is which so i have just always i sew my gather stitches on the right side because then i know the wrong side of the fabric will have the bottom thread okay and you'll see now why it's important to know which thread is which okay firstly the bottom thread gathers easier than the top thread actually the top thread really struggles and many times if you're struggling to gather it's because you're pulling the top thread. Okay, so this is something nobody tells you, but you need to pull the bottom thread. The other thing is, you need to start with some extra thread. Okay? We need extra thread. We need to set our stitch length. It's a straight stitch, but we are going to set our stitch length as long as it can go. So mine, with normal stitch length, is 2.5. I've set mine to five millimeter. That's as long as it can go. All right. And then the, the system is two rows of gathers. So normally on a normal um, pattern, you'll have a 1.5 seam allowance. Okay. So that's where you're going to be sewing at 1.5. Okay. So your first row of gathers are going to be at one. I'm going to mark it like this at one centimeter. And your second row is going to be at two centimeters and you will see now why okay so we're going to start with extra thread we need this thread because we're going to be gathering with it all right and we are going to the first one we're doing at one centimeter and we're starting in the fabric and we are not if your machine is like mine that auto cuts we don't want it to auto cut and we also don't want to start with an enforcement or end with an enforcement. So we're just going to straight start stitching. Okay. And we are going to do the first row, as I said, at one centimeter. And you, you have to start and end on the fabric, not off the fabric. Okay. So now, as I said, you need the thread on both sides. So keep the long threads, okay? Now we're gonna do the second row. Remember, this is at five millimeter. It's a very long stitch, all right? So we're gonna do one at two centimeters. And 
and again we're going to pull some extra thread all right so now remember what i said i want to know what is my right side it's written here but i'm going to just do it in blue this is the right side of the fabric and this is the wrong side of my fabric okay so we need to pull the threads that are at on the wrong side so you're gonna i always use something to get in between them and you're going to take the two, see, the two bottom wrong side threads and you're going to hold them and you're going to pull the fabric onto. I'm going to pull the fabric like that. And if it's a long piece, I always suggest that you come from both sides. Don't try and gather from one side because uh, you don't want these to break now. Um, let me just, I see, I did, I stepped off there, but so then it gets difficult. To see which one is the bottom right. okay oh these thumbs of mine there we go that's them two and i check that's the two bottom threads yes all right and i'm going to gather push it in like that from the one side there we go and let's say we are doing a full gather so we you know we try and gather as much as we can we're gonna just pull from this side again okay there we go and now I'm gonna just take a piece of fabric because I want to actually sew this to something so you can see what I am talking about um, all right so now once I've done my gathers okay I'm gonna just sew my this is not this is not neat guys I'm going to again put this together just so that you can see why I say I prefer the double row of gathers and I'm going to just pin them together pin together this is not really a long enough piece to but you will be able to see okay and now I'm going to sew them together at remember I said at um, 1.5 mil one and a half centimeters okay. sorry I didn't pull this completely okay and just gonna do that so we can see okay <laughs> so the interesting thing about that is now can you see that the gathering one at the is above and the one beyond now I can just take out my gathers I can just pull them out because they are long stitches so they pull quite easily unless they are not I'm gonna take them out take the bottom bit out and now if you look at my gathers let me just show you close up now I get almost you see almost perfect gathers this is obviously a very like hard fabric after it's washed it'll be Can you see that she said just glued to my screen okay so that's how I do it and then um, that is the best way of doing gathers okay you got that <laughs> yeah. all right any other questions, any other questions? we have one more yeah i need to do an alice in wonderland dress up tomorrow ideas for a boy maybe quick waistcoat for, for a boy, boy. Mm. a quick waistcoat do you have like something like um like a hard like an upholstery fabric or something because then you don't even have to line it you can just cut it and then like instead of lining it you're just gonna just just stay stitch the edges so then it's gonna sort of it's gonna fray but it'll only fray to where the the stay stitch is so that you don't have to double and draw and und underline and whatever so if you have like a, a thicker, thickish fabric, you can just literally put the piece of fabric on him or take a piece of paper, design it, 
and then you're going to just do the side seams and the top. But um, yeah, a hat, a big hat with funky stuff on it because this mad hat is tea party. So you can like make a paper, a, a paper cup and saucer and put it on the hat and a strip dust. And a strip dust and a yeah, waistcoat is good. Yeah, that's all we got. Mad Hatters is, the, the, the Alice in Wonderland is Mad Hatters and that just means give him as much color as you got, pink t-shirt, purple, this, the, anything possible. Um, mad Hatters is as mad as you can if you have, what's those straps called? Suspenders. Braces, suspenders. Put that on him. Matthew's done Mad Hatters, haven't you? Yes, so I think several times. Several times. If you have like purple hair or something that you can, or, or wool that you can glue to the hat. Yeah, Mad Hatters is, is Mad Hatters. So you can literally do anything. Yeah, go back. <laughs> Any other questions? No. Nope. Are we leaving and finishing early tonight? I am well, hungry. I, I can also go eat. My son, it was my son turned to cook, so he's already cooked. Our food is done. So I should have made this one the other way around. Let's see if I can. Can I? Yeah, so that I have two different ones. Me? Yeah, no, this is the same one. <laughs> that, that, oh yeah, this. Again, it's a different one. Different colors in front. <laughs> Cute. Okay, guys, I'm gonna Good. give you one minute and I want to see how many emojis we can do in this one minute. Five seconds is already gone. I'm literally timing it. Lisa, count. Emojis. So emoji, 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 emoji. Come on, uh, guys. One. That's freaking awesome. 20 seconds to get one. Give us some emojis. You guys look angry. Take the evening. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, Just as a little a teaser. Um, I'm going to do... Uh, uh, getting some. Uh, cool. Um, think about ideas for Halloween. Maybe we can make... Um, I'm going to make a book. We can look at a goodie bag. And maybe um, some easy... Maybe costume me thingies if you think of something. Um, so we are probably not going to have live Tuesdays next week because I'm going to Pretoria to see um, suppliers. And um, the Wi-Fi at the B&B is never, never good enough to do this. So I will see you in uh, a week. Two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. And then I want to really try and do october we do some halloween stuff if you can think of anything send us a whatsapp thank you guys that was one minute yes we got some yay i'm now sending food emojis because i'm hungry are you hungry matthew oh, so i'm sending food emojis i'm gonna send a cigarette for me <laughs> is that a thing is that an emoji you no that is an emoji there is a cigarette is there not send me some cigarettes i sent a cigarette <laughs> I win. And thank you for all the support always. We yeah, really guys. Awesome. And we all look forward to hanging out with you guys on a Tuesday. So tune back in next Tuesday. We'll be here. Oh, no, not next Tuesday. And remember, if you missed I'll anything, you can go. After that. Um, if you missed any of our projects, you can go back. Um, we Most of them are, not all of them are on YouTube, but all of them are on Instagram. Yes. <coughs> okay, guys. So all the like, nice, fancy ones on Matthew, YouTube and the Insta. older ones, we're slowly but surely going to read. Right? Yes, we are doing everything. Okay, so start thinking Christmas projects, Halloween projects. Send us WhatsApps 0615334412. Send us WhatsApps with your ideas. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye, Instagram. Bye, Instagram. Bye. Okay. okay. Yeah, I know. I saw that. It's funny. Okay. Say goodbye to. Bye, YouTube. Bye, Facebook. Facebook. Bye. Bye.